Welcome to the Serge and Dallas Show. <laughs> Awkward intro, but tell us Serge, what are we going to be doing today? Today's episode, we are going to a fabric store. I'm so excited. Dallas, explain. As well, I'm also enthralled to be in this episode. Uh, but today, it is a competition to sew your own shirt. But not only is it a competition between the two brothers here, um, it's a competition to show that men can also sew, and That's that right. men can fabric shop better than most ladies can, at least in the Mennonite circles. I plan to be in that fabric store and back out again with a piece of material in less than 10 minutes. And like most episodes, we'll be making up the rules as we go. Um, but first off, we're gonna head to the fabric store. Uh, we're both gonna be making a t-shirt, um, and a bit later on you'll be able to see what our plans are. I think I can beat Serge. Um, so far, he hasn't beat me. That is debatable. I am planning to make this my first win. I totally feel like I could master this better than he can. So um, let's see where this episode goes. So with that, let's take it to the fabric store. game plan, unlike Dallas's, is going to be simple. I'm going to get my piece of fabric. I'm, you know, I'm going to go with the stretchy material. I think that's going to make for a great t-shirt. Um, and then talking to my fabric advisor, aka my mom, I'm going to be taking um, a couple ideas and taking it to the drawing board, coming up with a great pattern, and hopefully dominating this whole game of, of fabric. So here we go. My game plan um, for this episode is first of all to beat Serge like I have in times past but the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be designing a very um, very nice t-shirt that's one of the things we're judging on is of course how it looks um, so I'm going to be designing a shirt that's got black sleeves and a dark gray um, body or a dark gray you know we'll, we'll see how it goes um, it might be hard to picture now but in the end um, I think it's going to look better than Serge's. I think Serge is going more simple. Um, but if we can um, out-design him, then I think we've got this competition in the bag. How's it going so far, Serge? It's going good. Feeling good about this whole shirt competition. All right, so we're back from the fabric store and I'm feeling really good with what I got. It took a little longer than I thought. There's a little more to it than what I really thought it would be. It took more like 10 minutes instead of five 15. minutes. 15. 15 minutes? Okay, maybe 15 minutes. Maybe 20. So my plan to be in that fabric store and back out again with a piece of material in less than 10 minutes. The things went excellent for me at the fabric store. Uh, it took me a grand total of four minutes and 28 seconds to go in and out with my fabric. They didn't have the gray and black I wanted, uh, so I switched over to this um, royal majestic blue combo. Um, you can actually see right through it. You can see right through it, um, but it's a really comfortable material. Uh, apparently fabric only stretches a certain way. Um, so yeah, that's not really my circle of expertise. Um, but I improvised with some help um, by sewing the two together right off the bat before I did my pattern. And if I laid some paper in there, it wouldn't stretch so much. Um, so thanks to mom and dad for helping me with that. But still feeling confident. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm not sure what girls were complaining about. This is like super easy. <laughs> hey Dallas, how are things going? Things are going. Um, I'm almost done my shirt. I just need to do the collar and the bottom part. Things are going good. Um, I've probably spent more time undoing stitches than actually putting stitches in with the machine, but that's okay. Um, at the end of the day, it will be a shirt and I will be able to wear it. And I don't even think people will notice that I sewed it. Um, check out that stitch work. I don't mean to toot my own horn. Um, but I'm gonna take that. For my first sewing project, um, I think I'm doing pretty well. Serge, any last thoughts before you finish your shirt? Feeling super confident about my shirt. I'm pretty sure this is gonna turn out really well. And the shirts are done. We finished these shirts now and we're wearing them. I'm very happy with the way the shirt feels. It looks great. And we took the polls, and sadly, um, you guys, we let you vote, which was probably a good idea, mm -hmm. um, and the results are right here. Um, you voted for Serge's shirt. Of course, you didn't know it's Serge's shirt. Thank unless... you very much. You made some very wise decisions right there. So congratulations, Serge, on your first uh, win. I do think it was mostly because of fabric choice. Hey, but um, that is a key point. I must confess, there's a lot of people out there who are sewing dresses, shirts, who suck at material choice. And that's just a by, you know, a side effect of not having good clothes. Very you have to know to very pick true. your clothes. Uh, yeah, I think this is kind of more a trendy fabric nowadays. All the shirts have like small little emblems. But that's fine. Uh, my shirt is still a shirt. It still does its job. It's staying on, which is the important part for me. So like was said, um, Serge won, and it is not my honor, but it is my duty to give Serge his first win here on the Serge and Dallas show. Uh, there's no punishment for the loser this time because we both ended up with a good product. Um, but I will be buying Serge an ice cold Coca-Cola straight out of the glass bottle, so you can look forward to that. Um, but we did learn things during this sewing experience. We Serge, sure did. What have you learned? What have I learned? Um, one of the main things I think I've learned is just to appreciate um, the fact of sewing, um, I must say, anybody who's wanted to sew, anyone pick, who has sewn, pick good material. It makes for a much more enjoyable experience. If you're gonna sew something that's not like cool looking material, <laughs> then you know why bother? You're going to all that work, right? So make it yep. make it good material. So, Serge, are you gonna be sewing again anytime soon? Um. Not probably anytime soon, but I'm not putting it out of the question. I think that it's definitely an option. I mean, hey, it didn't turn out too bad. Yes. Yeah, it actually just not. It just too took. Bad. It just took a long time for <laughs> as simple as of a project it was. I could have paid it out way quicker than I did. Very true. Um, one advice that I would give to people um, is. I don't know that I have advice. I'm, I'll, I'll look for your advice. Leave your advice for me down in the comments. I really enjoyed sewing this shirt. Um, I spent more time taking out stitches than I did. Um, sure. Especially than Serge. I made a lot more mistakes um, trying to do complicated things. Um, so in a way, I kind of learned more than he did um, by spending more time. So I can relate to you uh, who can't get it done on the first try. Um, but. I enjoy sewing. I'm going to definitely be sewing another shirt sometime. I really enjoyed it. It was a good experience. Um, that's been sewing advice with Serge and Dallas. Um, Huge respect to those who do sew. Yes. Um, it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, and hey, we both finished out with a good shirt. Um, so I'm proud of ourselves. So that has been this episode of the Serge and Dallas show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, we certainly had a lot of fun making this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for the next episode. And if you have any ideas of some crazy thing you want us to try, um, leave it down in the comments. We might just pick it for the next episode. Until next time, see ya.